Hey, what's up guys, Mish HD here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the China Southern 777-300ER in the Sky Team livery by JC Wings in a 1-200 scale. Check the description in case you missed anything throughout this video. My uh, Facebook and Twitter links will be down there, as well as the website where I pre-ordered this from, which was easytoys.com. Um, by the way guys, uh, not long after this video goes up, I will be out at Auckland Airport filming the American Airlines 787-8 inaugural landing at Auckland Airport. And uh, I have the video up as soon as possible after that. So um, if you could please go check out that video, uh, that would be great. Um, first, first American, um, uh, you know, North American airline in Auckland Airport since I think 2004. So it's a, it's a kind of a big day for Auckland Airport. And then not long after that, there is United Airlines coming in as well, which is um, awesome as well. But yeah, it'd be great if you guys could go check out that video once it's up. This is my 39th 777 model and it's my first China Southern model. Some information about China Southern, the operation space is out of Guangzhou in China. Main hubs are Beijing Capital Airport uh, and Guangzhou Baiyun uh, International Airport. Secondary hubs are Chongqing Jiangbei International Airport and Urumqi uh, Diwopu. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Diwopu, something like that. Um, Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, focus cities, there are quite a lot of focus cities, so um, uh, I'll probably pronounce some of these wrong, but I'll try my best. Changchun Longjia International Airport, Chengdu Shuanglu International Airport, Chongsa, sorry, Changsa Huang, Huanghua International Airport, Dalian Zhu Shuizi International Airport, Gaiyang Longdongbao International Airport, Haiku Meilan International Airport, Hangzhou Xiaoshan International Airport, Harbin Taiping International Airport, Jiang Chaoshan International Airport, Shanghai Pudong International Airport, Xinyang Taoxian International Airport, Shenzhen Baoan International Airport, Wuhan Tianhe International Airport, Xi'an Xi'anyang International Airport, Xingzhou Zingzing International Airport, and Zhuhai Jinwan Airport. Um, China Southern were founded in 1988 and their fleet as of the 12th of June 2016 consists of 510 aircraft, 25 of which are 777s, 4 are 777-200s, 12 are 777 freighters and 9 are 777-300ERs. They also have one 777-300ER unfilled order. They serve 190 destinations and their current 777-300ER routes are from Guangzhou to Auckland, Beijing capital. Chengdu, Dalian, Hangzhou, Los Angeles, New York JFK, Shanghai, Hongqiao, uh, Taipei, and Vancouver. This aircraft's first flight was on the 20th of November 2015 and delivered to China Southern on the 17th of December 2015. The bone customer code for this aircraft is 1B. Okay, so let's take a look around the box here. So we have Sky Team, and then we have the five airlines um, in the Sky Team livery that JC Wings released, and Boeing Triple Seven One to Two Hundred Scale. On the back, it's not much as always, just the warnings and the JC Wings logo, and also the license. On the top of the box, and then on the bottom. As you can see, this one at the bottom here is ticked, and that's the China Southern model. And there is the model. Alright guys, so the model is now out of the box, and we're going to start at the cockpit windows on the port side. Right, so you see the cockpit windows, window wipers, pitot tube static ports. Part of the registration on the gear door, 049. It's odd that it's quite small, because um, they usually uh, usually take up most of the gear door with the writing. We then have China Southern titles, the uh, China Southern logo, and China Southern in Chinese. Also have the Sky Team titles, and the inboard landing light. 
the General Electric G90-115B engine. Beautiful engine. Let's take a look inside. Very, very detailed and also the uh, engine strake on the inside of the engine nacelle. And fan blades do spin. It's got a bit stuck there. It's okay. Uh, on this side, got the same spin. Oddly, it's... Uh, okay, I see what, what happened. It just got a bit stuck. It's sort of... The engine sort of tilted. It's not sitting completely straight. I guess on the um, thing where it turns around and it's just sort of tilted forward a bit so uh, we have we do have landing lights here right up there little jewel looking things and uh, yeah the outside of the engine is very detailed as well got the um the line for where the the middle cowl uh, slides back, known as a translating cowl, for reverse thrust. Alright, coming along the leading edge of the wing to the red navigation light and the strobe light. Back onto the fuselage. We see the Sky Team logo. Registration number B2049 or Bravo 2049 Boeing 777-300ER Sky Team and China Southern logos on the tail APU looks very nice with the strobe light above the above the APU exhaust All right, now onto the cockpit windows on the starboard side with the window wipers, pedo tube static ports, part of the registration on the gear door, China Southern and Sky Team titles, front cargo container door, there's the uh, inboard landing light, the G90 engine, and then on the wingtip we have the on the side, the green navigation light and the strobe light. Back onto the fuselage. We have the Sky Team logo, rear cargo container door, the bulk bin door, registration number, uh, the aircraft type, and then the logos on the tail. Show you guys underneath the aircraft. Okay, so we have the nose gear, gear door, some knacker ducts, antenna. Yep, um, hole for the stand, beacon light, main gears, gear doors. Underneath the wing, flaps, slats, ailerons, and Chinese writing here, which stands for China Southern. The nice raked wingtip. Also, the fuel dump valve. Underneath the engine. Same on this side, but with the registration number. Oops, there we go. Continuing down, we have two antennas, cabin pressure relief valve, uh, the painted on tail skid, and the APU housing. On top of the aircraft, excuse me, my fingers, where my uh, fingers have been, uh, the metal uh, is quite cold and it's quite warm in here, so uh, we have the anti-collision light, we have the antenna, 
AD antennas, overwing emergency exits, and the no step markings, along with the flap slats, ailerons, and spoilers, and the Chinese writing. And the same on this side, but with the registration number. Okay, continuing down with the SATCOM, two antennas, and then the okay, here at the leading edge, two grey dots on each horizontal stabilizer. They are the logo lights that light up as hell at night time. Now onto the seating of this aircraft. So we have one configuration. Uh, so we'll start with first class, four flat bed seats, rows uh, just in row one. So of course it'll be just, uh, I think it's from here to here, so it covers about four windows. Um, or maybe not, I think two actually. The first two windows would be first class, um, and then Business class, 34 flatbed seats, rows 11 to 19. That is from here to here. We have premium economy, 44 seats, rows 31 to 36. That's from here to here. And then we have economy, 227 seats, rows 37 to, 40, to 64. Sorry, total, total of 309 seats, and that's Economy is from here all the way to the back of the aircraft. All right. Now some features of this model. So we have landing gear. Um, I think there is a one or two wheels that are a little bit stuck, which is causing it to, as you can maybe hear that noise, uh, just the rubber scraping across the airport mat um other than that yeah they roll they, the others do roll nicely um and gear does tilt and the nose gear does swivel so um just a little bit about this well not really a little bit about this livery just uh when it was painted um so as, as i mentioned it was delivered uh, in around about December 2015, and it's been painted in this livery ever since. So, yeah. Right now, I'll show you guys the stand. Got the plaque on the stand. Sky Team China Southern, 777-300ER, scale 1-200. There's nothing on the bottom, and we do have the blue film, which I'm going to remove now. It just protects the middle on the back. And then padding on top of the stand so you don't scratch the model underneath. The wheels don't tilt don't actually tilt forward, which they really should. It's quite annoying. So uh, I hope JC Wings aren't going to do that because they made the gears look more realistic, but they have removed the um, the forward tilting feature of it when it's coming into land, so kind of defeats the purpose of it having on a stand. Uh, anyway, uh, the gears the gears are magnetic; they can easily be removed. And when you want it in the in-flight position, there are gear doors here uh, if you wish to use them. Anyway guys, this is pretty much going to be it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did. Comment tell me what you think of this model. Tell me if you're going to get it. Subscribe for more. I have four more unboxings uh, on the way out of what I, the models I have so far, go check out my previous video, um, previous unboxing, 
as I said in the, at the start of the video, next up is the American Airlines inaugural 787 landing at Auckland Airport. Um, and I'll be probably doing a takeoff video as well, so don't forget to check those out. Um, and share this video so other people know about this model and see if they want to get it as well. It's a beautiful model. I really hope JC Wings or even Gemini Jets release it in their regular livery. I would love to have that model. But um, anyway, guys, I do really hope you have enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.